<laughs> it's a bad omen. You get it? You see what I did there? I'm actually getting ready to film another video about this Bluteo headset, but I wanted to stop and do a follow-up, and I'm gonna call this one the HP Omen, however many months it's been, it's gotta be close to a year now, probably probably eight, nine months since I've had it. Matt, what's the point of doing this video? What does this matter? For the people that are doing things like buying the Omen X35, it's a big investment, it's a lot of money, and there's important stuff to know. My initial review was, was critically reviewed back to me as maybe it was a little light, could have done a little bit more, I went back, fixed some of that, made an extra video, posted it on that video so that people could see that, it seemed to make some people a little happier while well, I did more of a consumer than a prosumer type review. But it's important to know and to be fair to people that have looked at that. Now the HP Omen did something strange the other day and, and I'm gonna tell you about that real quick. If you hear that noise, if you can hear that noise, it's actually the dogs eating. I realized they haven't had their dinner yet and they're eating now. So what happened? Okay, uh, a few days ago, well a few days ago, about, about two weeks ago, let me focus here. I hope that's good. I hope you guys can see me. It's a little dark. I don't have all my stuff on yet. About two weeks ago, uh, I was sitting at her computer doing something on Word. I think I was working on the capsule stuff, actually just kind of getting ideas together for the capsule and uh, to, to make that video, which, which is now released. And while I was working on it, the panel flickered and then just went out. Just poof. Roxy, try to drink a little quieter. The panel had gone out on it, so I decided... Well, that's strange. What what do I need to do here? Because I wasn't doing anything out out of the the norm. You know, I was just working in Word on her computer. Go to your, go to your box. Go lay down. Go lay down. I am the alpha. So I was just working on it. Panel goes out. And I was like, okay, this is strange. We'll try to power it off, power it back on. You know, the the simple stuff. The the basic. You know, tech 101. We did all this. And uh, still nothing. So I, I actually got to a point where the panel came back, like the, the lights around it, I could see that it was lit and on, but I wasn't getting anything from it. So I, I swapped from a display port to HDMI. I, I swapped inputs on the GPU. Hell, I changed computers. I unplugged it, replugged it, did all this stuff. So I kept getting a standby light, the orange light on the power button. I was like, well, that's odd. Power it off, power it on, orange light comes on, orange light flashes, red light flashes, orange light flashes, it goes back to being blank, black, nothing. Okay, so I turn it at this point. Now I've unplugged the USB pass-throughs. I've unplugged everything but the power to the monitor and the the adapter to go into the GPU itself, so I could actually see something if something actually happened. Hit that button again. Orange light comes on. Wish I would have recorded this stuff. It'd be easier than trying to explain it. Orange light comes on. Red light comes on. Red light starts flashing. Red light's just flashing in and out real slow, like a breathing red light. All right, well that's weird. Let me try. Let me try the old trick of uh, we'll hold it down for four seconds and just force it to power off. So I hit that power button again, turn it back on, red light comes on, bright red light, then the red light fades out, red light fades in, red light fades out, red light fades in, and then it just like you were slowly dimming a switch, red light, gone. Never got anything after that again. I tried, I tried different outlets, nothing. Didn't get anything again on it. At that point I was like, well, it's done. Right now she's still using, if you can see around me there, that which is a really tiny backup monitor that we, we don't really do anything with except maybe like if we're plugging in a laptop or something doing benchmarks, we'll do that. This is the dead one, the one I reviewed months ago. This monitor is gone. It, it's beyond my skills, my expertise. I cannot fix panels like this. That's no, just not gonna happen. It's not my thing. So it's gone and uh, I, I said, you know, well, the least I can do is at least reach out to HP Omen, the person I had talked to a long time ago when I did the review. I hadn't talked to him in a long time. Didn't even expect him to remember me. So I reached out to HP and I said, hey look, I have the HP Omen X35. I've had it for this long. This is the issue that happened. I don't know what to tell you. I've tried everything. And uh, I just explained to him exactly what I told you happened. Sent the email off. So keeping that in mind, we were looking at a Philips X Brilliance, which is uh, what got ordered. It's a 34 inch. It's a PVA panel, I believe, which while it says 60 hertz can go up to 100 hertz, display port out, USB pass through in the back. It's got an adjustable mounted stand, 34 inches. And it's kind of that good middle ground between work and play. It's not an extreme enthusiast gamer monitor, and it's not so much of a work monitor that it, it doesn't constitute the ability to be a good gaming monitor either. Well, that's not here yet. That's, that's slow moving because I don't, I don't, 
I don't pay for fast shipping. Anyways, they finally get back to me in my email and they said, hey, look, we're going to make this right. I'm sorry that happened. We're going to send you a new one. And I said, you don't have to do that. You don't have to send a new one. I just wanted you to be aware of this. And if you want this one back to see what happened with it, because I do know that I got probably one of the first batches out of the factory, which came with some of the problems. And people that have posted on the HP Omen X35 video have said, you know, well, they no longer do this, that, that sticker that pulled up the anodization on the bezel, that's not there anymore. That's all changed. I think they're right because HP did send a box that has another X35. This box isn't nearly as big as the first box that this one came in so it already is a different experience now i haven't opened this one up and set it up yet but i imagine they didn't send me a defective product i hope <laughs> because in which case i'll probably return the x brilliance and we'll go with this my point of this whole video is to kind of follow you up for two reasons here i was ready to be done with hp omen i thought that they needed more time and i was just done with that and i wasn't happy with the experience so far but my opinion about that has changed greatly customer service can really do that for somebody and and that's what's important in any company i don't care who it is whether you're a small company big company middle company mom and pop shop it doesn't matter if you have good customer service you are in that kind of loyalty at least from me and i think that that's incredible it was wednesday night he replied to my email and said you know that sucks i'm sorry that that happened your new one will be there by the end of the week i'm talking about wednesday night at 9 p.m that thing was on a plane on thursday from california and on my doorstep at friday in the morning any negativity that i had was just absolved by that uh, kudos kudos to hp4 making that happen and you guys know it's not because of who i am because i'm a nobody and you know it look at that subscriber count no, i'm a nobody that just tells you that they care about customers anyways i wanted to follow up and let you know again for these two main reasons the problems i've had with it have now included the panel dying in less than a year the good that came out of it hp omen made good on that in a heartbeat and has totally won me over and some loyalty over it just because psh, let's face it that's cool that you would do that for a customer good omen she expects this thing to be on her desk probably by tomorrow because i'm sure she's tired of looking at that little monitor over there i guess i better do that <laughs>